Brooks here and today I'm going to do a little video and show you a little bit of my workflow process. I'm working on a new website that will replace my WayneWallace.com website at some point when I've got enough content here to share it. So normally when you edit your pages you edit them within the editor built into WordPress and uh, I just clicked on edit and you can see sometimes that it's kind of slow uh, to work uh, on the web um, you know depending on how what you're doing in the background and how fast your server is so sometimes you may run into problems editing in this window and then having to save it and go view it because normally the process would be you'd come in here and make a change so let's say uh, the best work at home opportunity available on the internet let's put an exclamation point in there and then I'd have to update this and then I'd have to wait and then I'd have to come over here and hit view and then I could look at it and say oh okay that looks great and then I could come back and I've got to wait for some reason it's slow and the edit buttons not up here yet so this is a good example of how painful it is sometimes to work on WordPress websites when you're trying to work live okay there it is so my toolbar is back so let's do an edit page and now I'm back into the code part of my page and uh, I've only got another I've only got a limited view of my code here which I don't like and it all looks the same it's all black on white you know text and it's very hard to read and I'm in the text mode here so I'm in the code mode so what I prefer to do is this this is my workflow what I do is I copy uh, I did a command A to, to select all the text. I do a, a, a command C. I'm on a Mac, so it'd be control for you if you're on a PC. And then I come over here to my Sublime text editor. So if you go to sublimetext.com, you can download this editor. It's free, um, but they do um, have a paid version as well. Uh, this is basically a trial version. Uh, it nags you every once in a while. So um, it's a very good editor, and I'll probably buy it eventually. Um, so I'm going to paste this code that I just copied into here. Okay, so this is all the code from my, um, from my WordPress page. So over here, I can scroll up and down very easily. You can see that all my syntax is highlighted very nicely. There's different themes within this editor, so I can come in here and let's just say I want to change the theme uh, to a color scheme of uh, Centurion Galea. Okay, so now I've got a little bit different coloring scheme. There's tons and tons of customization that you can do with this website. Uh, let's go to Flatland, um, choose that one. Okay, so that one's kind of bright. Um, I'm not really crazy about that one. So you can spend hours just playing around with themes here. I kind of like this one right here. It's, uh, it's kind of subdued a little bit and it gives me, you know, coloring on the things that I need. So the other really nice thing about this editor is it does auto completion of tags. So if I come up here to the view window, and I hit syntax and then HTML5, it knows that I'm coding HTML5 code and it'll complete uh, some, of my, um, some of my code for me. There's also another plugin that you have to install to get it to do this. So uh, I'll probably do another video on that. But here I'll give you an example. If I want to um, say do a, an image uh, link on my website and link an image to a web page like a button um, 
I can do something like this. I can say uh, A for anchor, hit tab, and then I can put my URL in there. I can come over here and I can put IMG tab and it creates the uh, code for that. And then here I can put in my HTTP you know, address uh, for the um, image. So you can see how it completes uh, stuff like that. If I want to do a paragraph, I hit P tab and it creates the paragraph code. Okay, so let's take that out because I don't really need that. And actually, here's a good example. Um, I should probably put a P tag around this stuff here. So let me just hit P tab, and then I can just take all this and copy and paste it right into here. Okay. And that div tag goes with that. So now I just edited this code, and now I want to see how it looks, right? So this is uh, if you'd like to make a living at home paragraph. I'm going to go ahead and copy. So I'm going to do a Command A and a Command C to copy. I'm going to flip back over to my WordPress uh, page, and I'm going to do a Control a Command A and a Command V to paste that new code. I'm going to hit update. And now normally you'd have to say view if you want to go view that page. But what I do is I have another browser window open. I'm using Safari as my other browser. And I come in here and I just simply, simply refresh this window. And when I refresh that window, I've got my new page loaded, which is this one over here. And now I can see my new paragraph right here. And now this part is not centered. I would actually, um, I, actually, I would like this at the end of this um, sentence right here. So let's go ahead and fix that. So let's go over here. This is still the current code, so I don't need to copy it again. What I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to take this limited space available and bring it up here. And let me just look at this. So this is my, um, my anchor text. Okay, that looks good. That's all in a paragraph. That looks good. So let's copy that again and come over here and Command A, Command V, and update. And then I'm going to flip back over. By the time I get over here, I can hit refresh. And now that I can see that I've pasted that in there. But oh, look, I got another mistake. Here's a, um, I need a space in between there. So let's go back over to my editor. And let's go here and put a space. Actually, I don't want to put the space there. I want to put the space here. So let's Command A, Command C, come over here. Command A, Command V, do an update. It's updating. And then I'm going to flip back over to Safari and do a Command R for refresh. And now I've just fixed this. So you can see how this workflow is a lot smoother and a lot faster than using the built in editor uh, of WordPress. So let me know if you have any questions, and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thanks.